The day 20 minutes of tardiness changed the world of mathematics forever. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell and smash that like button. We really appreciate your continuous support. Sometimes our mental and physical abilities are limited by nothing other than our negative attitudes and self-doubts. Think of all the things you gave up and the ideas you dropped just because you believed they were beyond your abilities. Think of all the degrading remarks and doubtful offhand dismissals that killed sparks of enthusiasm and deterred genius from pursuing what could have been the next big thing. What if people believed in themselves instead of letting self-doubt and other people's opinions dictate what they do? Today's story is about a man who unknowingly did just that, and the result changed the world of mathematics forever. It all began in 1914 in Portland, Oregon, when a young boy named George was born to a poor family of Jewish immigrants. There's nothing special about George's childhood, except that his struggling family relocated a couple of times in a quest for better living conditions. Things started looking up when they finally moved to Washington, D.C., after his father, Tobias, finished his Ph.D. in mathematics and landed a job as a lecturer at Maryland University, after working as a laborer for several years to support his family. His mother, Anja, also finished her master's degree in French language and became a linguist at the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. George was, by all means, a normal boy that had nothing to set him different from his peers. In fact, George's grades were so poor that his parents asked him to pay more attention to his studies and encouraged him to do more efforts to improve his performance at school. Though George was a bit reluctant at the beginning, he did just that, and was determined to do well in science and mathematics. Supported by his math teacher, a friend, and his father, George set out in a journey of recap that helped him develop his mathematical skills and graduate from Central High School in Washington, D.C. His father gave him thousands of math problems to solve while he was still in high school, and the mental exercise developed George's analytical power that resulted in his fascination of geometry in particular. George was by no means a genius, yet his love for geometry made him choose mathematics as a specialism at the university after he was admitted by Maryland University. Like every other student, George was in the habit of missing classes and arriving late, the fact that got him punished on a couple of occasions. It was just another morning in which the 25-year-old George woke up late and was rushing across the corridor trying to catch Professor Naiman's statistics class. Despite running most of the way, George was still 20 minutes late, and his only hope was to make it to the auditorium unnoticed. The young man slowly opened the door and quietly rushed towards the nearest free spot and sat down. George didn't dare interrupt his professor, who was already in the middle of explaining something. So the young man just checked what was written on the blackboard, trying to figure out what he had missed. Seeing nothing but two mathematical equations chalked on the blackboard, George thought that they must be homework for the next class, and so he copied it on his notebook. It wasn't until he went back home and tried to do the homework that George regretted those 20 minutes of tardiness. As the problem was extremely difficult, and he must have missed something important that would have helped him solve the mathematical equations. Determined to solve the equations nonetheless, he struggled with them for days, but he eventually got the job done. The next class, George walked up to the professor's desks and submitted his homework assignment. The professor absentmindedly accepted the homework as he was busy drawing graphs on the blackboard in preparation for the class. By next class, Professor Nyman walked to where George was sitting and told him that he's still checking the assignment. Two more weeks passed and George still didn't get to know the result of his homework. And such a long time couldn't be a good sign, making the anxious young man all the more nervous, especially as midterm grades were imminent and George couldn't afford poor grades. To the surprise of George, he was summoned to the dean's office later that week, and when he opened the door, he found out that in addition to the dean and his statistics professor, there were a number of men he didn't recognize. George didn't know what to expect as he just walked in and sat down in the chair they assigned for him. Shortly after that, Professor Naiman surprised him with an unexpected statement. The professor looked at the stupefied student and said to him, Congratulations, George. Did you do it by yourself or someone else helped you? Not knowing what to make of that question, the young man asked his professor to clarify what he meant. Naaman showed George the assignment that he submitted, and apparently the young man solved the problems correctly, and that was expected. The thing that George didn't expect is that he solved a mathematical problem 
that was deemed unsolvable. The equations that George copied from the blackboard on the day he arrived at the class late were examples of unsolvable mathematical problems that persisted for decades, despite the efforts of countless mathematicians who tried to work them out to no avail. The attendees that George didn't recognize were professors from the Mathematical Academy of Sciences who were beyond amazed by the tremendous achievement of the young man. Up until now, the name of George Danzig is still hailed for doing these impossible and changing the world of mathematics forever. The results of those equations that George mistaken for an assignment and ended up solving paved the way for the development of simplex algorithm and had a huge effect on linear programming. George went on to be one of the most outstanding mathematical scientists of the 21st century, leading a life full of achievements and mathematical contributions that affected the lives of millions of people. He coined many theories and published a number of scientific articles, and he received John von Neumann Prize in 1975 and the National Medal of Science in the same year, and other prestigious awards as a recognition to his significant achievements and contributions. Imagine for a second that George arrived at class on time and heard this professor talking about those equations being impossible to solve. He would have done what all his classmates did, just take the professor's word for granted and left those problems unsolved, believing that he can't solve them himself. It's wonderful what humans can achieve once they believe in themselves, and no one tells them they can't do it. How many other mysteries and problems can be solved if only we had other Georges tackling them without believing they're insurmountable? Maybe it's high time we changed our mindset and tackled our problems with an I can mentality. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and tell us what you think about it in the comment section below.